Hey everybody, this is 12 Fretter again. I'm going to take you through a Carol King song, It's Too Late. Um, I had to transpose it to a different key because I couldn't sing it in the A minor that it was written in. It's way too high for my voice. So what I did was to learn the song, I just capoed up on five and I played it in an E minor position. That way I can play along with a song in its original key, but then when I'm all done learning the song I can move this capo to where it fits my voice. So <clears throat> I got a little, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold so I'm not sure I can sing this real well, but I'm going to sing it in an E minor key, uh, which is a little bit low, but you can move the capo wherever you want. But uh, just to run through it real quick, I'll just run through it. You can see what this chord sound like, and then we'll get to actually naming the chords. So. Basically the, the song, and then at the end of the song they go into a couple of uh, different chords, a G major seventh. Here. It's too late, baby. It's too late. Hold on. It's too late. So those are all the chords. So let's now let's let's break it down. I'm going to put this on the fifth fret so that you can play along with the recording to make sure. So you're starting off with an E minor. If you want to do that, you know, that hammer on on the third fret. The second chord, uh, it's, an, it's an A add six. Now the six is, if you listen to the recording, the bass player is actually moving that sixth for you. He's going. note right there, that F sharp note, is the sixth of an A chord. So if you add that note to an A, you get an A6. Well, it's also down on the bottom. So the way that I play it is I basically bar the bottom four strings and I wrap my finger around the top and grab that top string all on the second fret. So the A note is open, which is the root of the chord, but the rest of it is the whole, all six strings are played, so it sounds like. So you're getting that sixth added to the A chord. So that's that A add six. So you're going.
second part is second fret, second uh, second fret, fifth string. I'm not going to go too much into detail. You can, it's, it's easy enough. But okay, so those are your first two chords. go to a D minor 7th, which is barring the first fret, first and second string, and then on the second fret, third string. That's your D minor 7th. And it goes to a C major 7th, which is if you play a full C chord, including that top note, and then remove this finger, you're getting, you're getting these top three. playing all the strings as a C major 7th. So you're going 3rd fret, 6th string, 3rd, yeah, 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret. That's a C major 7th, and we're going to do an F major 7th, which is 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. If you can, wrap your thumb around and catch that 1st fret because that's your bass note. And you're going to play all strings, including this. So that's your F major 7th. So, so far we got an E minor, we got an A add 6, we got a D minor 7th, C major 7th, and an F major 7th. Okay? Uh, we're also going to have just a regular D, D suspended 4th. Also going to have a, a B7 suspended. Okay, so when we put that together, just to pass the time. There's something wrong here that can be no denying. One of us is changing. Oh, maybe we just stop trying And it's too late, baby, now it's too late Though we really did try to make it Something inside is dying and I can't hide it oh, That's an A minor 7th. 